I should cook something for her, or shall I take her out for lunch instead? Whatever you decide will be wonderful. Now, she's due about half past two. A lot of places will be stopping lunchtime service by then. She might be late, or oh, best if I cook something. Bernice, stop worrying. But it needs planning. What happened to my woman of spontaneity? Ash, I'm about to meet the half-sister I didn't even know I had. Yes, I know that. But you've prepared a bedroom for her, you've got a good few hours before she arrives, and there's really no point in getting worked up about things. Yes, you're right. Oh, Ash, what if we don't get on? You will! I'd better give this place the last going over and all. Well, this is nice, isn't it? All right. We all sat down to breakfast. Proper family, all under the one roof. Just as it should be. No. Oh. How's about we have a special meal tonight? You know, to welcome in a new era. That's an excellent idea, son. Lisa, can you cook us something special? Yeah, of course I can, love. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, Lisa. If you do the cooking, I'll provide the ingredients. Oh, all right. Well, are you sure? Of course he's sure. The single man doesn't shirk his duty, but he still knows how to do his bit. What if I put these magazines in a pile in the corner? Only Nicola might not be a believer. And we don't look like fanatics, do we? Shall I go over to Viv's and get us this month's women's glosses? No need, I've already done it. Oh, no! It can't be! It's only ten o'clock! Just because Nicola's due doesn't mean our doorstep's out of bounds to all other callers. I just thought I'd come and see how you're getting on. What time she you do? About half past two. I've hardly started on this room. Yeah, all over the show and I've got a clue what I'm going to wear. I'll just wear something you feel comfortable in. Oh, Trisha, I'm a nervous wreck. I'll tell you what, why don't you go upstairs and get yourself ready and I'll tidy up the house for you. Are you sure? Yes, get to it. <laughs> ah, Zoe. I wanted to talk to you about the practice. I was uh, just wondering what the chances were of me becoming a partner. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. No, no, it's fine, but, um, it's not as simple as me saying yes or no. Well, you've got to think about it, of course. Well, yes, but it's not just my decision. I'll have to talk to Paddy as partners we decide things together. Leave it with me. You've done a fantastic job. The place looks spotless. And you look beautiful. <laughs> well, it's taken me long enough. Should have to like me or lump me. That's the spirit. Not long to go now, eh? <laughs> well, thanks for popping round, Tricia. I'll see you later then. Oh, is that your way of saying get lost? No, no, of course not. No, I, I just don't fancy her turning up to a full house. Well, thanks a bunch. We might not have the same surname, but I thought we were like family. Sisters, you said. Trisha, please, this isn't easy. Come on, Trisha, I'll join you. Well, make sure you bring her into the pub later. Can't wait to see what she's <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, Ash, have I done the right thing? For the last time, it'd be impossible for her not to like you. You're nervous, and that's to be expected but she'd be feeling just the same. Enjoy it. Hello. Hello. If you're waiting for the bus to Hutton, it's just gone. Do you know what the time is? Go on. Tell me. Sorry? The time. Don't matter. It's ten to three. Oh, it's not, is it? Are you late? I was expected twenty minutes ago. Oh, the next bus isn't due for forty minutes. Oh, I'm not waiting for a bus. I've just got off one. Oh, I see. Could you tell me which way I go to get to the vicarage? Yes, of course. It's 
straight down there. All right. Thanks. No trouble. Well, there are six chairs in total, and they're Georgian. Do you think they might be worth anything? No, I'm afraid I don't know the exact date. Right, well, look, I'll, I'll get back to you. OK, bye. Sorry about that, I was just... No, no, um... fine. No need to explain. Oh, how did you date with Eric go? No, it wasn't a date. I, I was simply accompanying him. Though he was charm itself. Yeah, I bet he was. <laughs> and you managed to keep up appearances. Pardon? Well, you know, pretending you're an antiques collector. Oh, yes. You haven't told anyone, have you? Gloria, please, of course not. Good. Actually, I think I did rather well. In fact, I managed to find a dealer who might, repeat, might be interested in buying my dining chairs. Oh, great. Oh, you not need dining chairs? Well, no, not now Malcolm's gone. It's not as if I have to entertain at home anymore and I never sit in there by myself. So where do you eat, then? I have got other rooms, Paddy. All right. Are you all right? Not really, no. I've come to meet my sister. Well, half sister. We've never met before. I'm just sitting here for a bit because I'm a bit nervous. At the vicarage? Yeah. Do you know her? Beneath she's called. Yes, I do. She's lovely. Oh, good. I suppose you think I'm stupid. Do you mind if I sit here for a moment? Oh, no, of course not. Do you ever get deja vu? Is that when you think you've been somewhere before in a previous life? Can be. I was sitting here once. Not to meet my sister. I haven't got one. I had an interview. Just over there. I just got off the bus. And I was petrified. It was a new beginning for me, in more ways than I ever could have known. He walked past, you see. He saw me waiting here. Butch was his name. And he was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Maybe meeting Bernice will be the best thing that's ever happened to you too. Is he your fella? He was. I've got a fella, Garen. Want to see his picture? OK. <laughs> oh, he looks very nice. Oh, he is. That's his job, see, ski instructor. Have you ever been? Skiing? No, I don't think I have, though I did use to have a toboggan. Oh, you'd love it. What's your name, anyway? Emily. All oh, right. Oh, well, hi, Emily. I'm Nicola. <laughs> I suppose I'd better be on my way. I don't want to keep her waiting too long. Bernice will understand. Right. Oh. Here goes then. Thanks for talking to me. Any time. Wonderful knowing you, Butch. Are you sure one of us shouldn't pop in? Unexpected light, just in case they ain't getting on. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll put my coat on. No, leave them. They'll be fine. I wish you'd all stop worrying. They're probably laughing and joking together like they've known each other all their lives. No, no, Diane, what did I tell you about getting yourself worked up? I can't help it, Alan. How would any of you feel? 
It's a lovely name, isn't it, Nicola? It's the sort of name I would have plumped for, you know, if I'd have ever... Not that Bernice isn't a wonderful choice. I wonder what she looks like. Bernice, you must be Nicola. Well, you wolfed that down. I know. I was starving. I said to myself, don't go filling up on a burger in town, cos you'll only have it churning over on the bus. Have you not eaten since breakfast? Oh, no. I had the burger. And it churned. But I can eat and eat me. Like a black hole. Join the club. More wine? Oh, please. I can't believe this is happening. I'm sitting next to me half-sister. I was so nervous. Me and all. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it? Can I ask you something? Of course. Why didn't you ever contact me before? Cos I didn't know about you. Why did you know about me? Of course. Dad was always dead honest about the fact that he had another family. Are you serious? But I didn't know what to do about it. He didn't seem to know how to get hold of you. Still, we're here now. Yeah. Do you like him? Dad, I mean. Yeah, he's, he's nice. He's the best. The boss not around? She's gone to the wholesalers. All right. That'll be £18.44, please. Let's put it on our tab. We don't have a tab. Of course we do. You work here, so the family's entitled to special treatment. We don't have one. We do now. No. I think it's time you ask yourself a question, love. Your loyalties with Viv Windsor are your families. I lose my job. Well, nobody needs to know. And if you do tell, maybe that just proves you're not a real dingle anyway. You married your way into my family. Just you remember that. Are you going to tell us what I think you're going to tell us? I got my final mock GCSE result this morning and I've passed. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Which means I've passed them all. Well done, love. I knew you would. Well, this calls for a celebration. Oh, it's only my mocks. We'll celebrate if and when I pass the real ones. All right, then. We'll save the party, but we can still sit down and have a meal together. Tell you what, your choice. I'll cook whatever you fancy. What? Top meal at home, eh, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> You've cooked. Oi. They have got a point, love. OK, so it's my choice. Chinese takeaway, definitely. Oh, yeah, go on, Mum. Yeah, go on, Mum. <laughs> All right, then. We'll order a banquet. Please. Yes! <laughs> so, you're 23. That's right. And you? <gasps> 32. Oh, you don't look it. Not honest, you don't. Let's make up for you. Mm. I love your eyes. You've done them really well. I can never get mine quite right. <laughs> well, I'll lend you my mascara if you like. Look, I'm a bit confused, Nick. You don't mind if I call you Nick, do you? Oh, no, of course not. Oh, good. Well, I was just wondering, how come you're back from France so quickly? Well, I spoke to Dad and he said you'd like to meet me. Oh, right. And they just gave you time off work, did they? Not exactly, no. The thing is, Bernice, I was working in France at a ski resort cleaning chalets, but, well, I'm afraid I got the push. What, yesterday? No, just before Christmas. I stayed on, though, cos I met my new boyfriend out there, Darren. He's one of the ski instructors. Oh, I see. I was spending that much time in his chalet, my mind went on job. 
We'll have been going out six weeks come the 18th. Very nice. Do you think? He's dead fit, always doing sit-ups and that. So do you live with him out there, then? Oh, no, not yet. But he's going to ask me soon. And he didn't mind you hopping over to England to see me? <laughs> not at all. In fact, it were him that persuaded me to go. Begged me, he did. Even booked me ticket. Don't rush back on my account, them were his words. He's that sort. Dead considerate. <laughs> Sound very happy. Oh, I am. Now, come on. I want to hear all about your Ashley. Can't believe he's a vicar. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you tomorrow. Oh, Paddy, I want to talk to you about Adam. He's asked me if we might consider him becoming a partner. What? Here? Yeah. Yes, of course, here. I said I had to talk to you. But actually, I think it's a very good idea. He's been brilliant PR for the practice. Good at networking, you mean schmoozing clients. So he's only been here for ten months. We don't need another partner. It would mean us having another £50,000 for the business. Are you sure you're not letting your personal feelings get in the way of your professional relationship? No, of course not. I'm just being cautious, that's all. He's a great vet. No, you're right. He's a... He's, he's a good vet. A toast, I think. To a new hearer in the Dingle House, yeah? To my wife, Lisa. To my daughter-in-law, Emily. And to my daughter, Belle. <laughs> and to my son, Ken. To Ken. Ken. Mm. And here's to us sticking together, Aye. working together. Aye. Aye. For the good of the family. The family. Oh. OK, and thanks ever so for getting the food in for me. It must have cost you the earth. Oh, I wanted to treat us all. Mm. And it is superb, my little angel face. Oh. <laughs> no money don't grow on trees. Oh, no. Having said that... <coughs> Collection time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, Ken, that's far too much considering you bought the food and all. If it's for the family. Emily. I'm sorry, Mr Dingle. I haven't got anything to put in today. Well, that's not good enough, is it? Why haven't you? Why do you think? Have you spent it all on toys and sweeties? No. I spent nearly a day's wages paying for groceries that you took from Mrs Winter's shop without paying. Is this right? Ken? Well, that should cover it. She must have slipped and banged herself. Oh, heck. Hey. For goodness sake, it's been hours now. Well, you've got a lot of talking to do. Oh, look on the bright side. It's bound to mean they're getting on. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, come off it, Diane. They're half sisters. That's easy for you to say. Maybe we should get over there. It has been a long time. Yep. You're right. Uh, no, we'll wait here. Uh, Ashley's right. It's best if we all keep out of it. You should all take a leaf out of my book. Don't go interfering. <laughs> Put us another one in there, would you, love? So will Ashley be in the pub too? He should be. You'll have to meet Darren sometime. It certainly sounds like you think you've met Mr Wright. <laughs> yeah. Mind, I said that about the last one, Ringo. That was partly why I wanted to go abroad. I work in it rotten stole precinct while I were dating him. Five months solid and then he goes and breaks me out. Ringo! Oh, I know, don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Six foot four and size 12 shoes beneath. He even bought me a ring. And then one day we were picking lunchtime sandwiches together when he starts talking to this so. from stationers. And the next thing I know, I'm stood there at eight items or less with a low fat chicken on brown and no man's arm round me. I suppose that's what happens when you're too easy. Easy? Well, giving them what they want straight off. Because where do you go from there? Build on it. I like to think so, only it's not work for me. Still, Darren's different. Do you know something? We may have only just met, but I've got a feeling you and me are going to get on. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Nicola. It's funny, isn't it? I know you're only a half-sister, but that makes no difference to me. Oh, come here. <laughs> Dad, you've already had three pieces of prawn toast. Well, you've nicked nearly all the seaweed. Well, I'm allowed to do what I want today, aren't I, Mum? Within reason. Right. Should have gone for your cooking instead, Mum. 
Nobody be fighting over that. Oi, am I meant to be getting a message here? Your food always tastes sublime, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember the last time we sat down together. It's probably because Dad's always working late. Yeah, well, it won't be any more, will you, love? No. I think she'll be all right from now on. So we can do this more often? As long as you don't eat the prawn toast each time. Hey, I meant to sit down together. We won't be having a Chinese every time. <laughs> you can forget it, then. <laughs> Too right. Cheers, mate. Sorry? Thanks for your support. Zoe said you didn't have any problems with the idea of me becoming a partner. Oh, yeah, right. No, I'm really grateful. I guess this means we don't have any hard feelings about Beth. No, no, of course not. Hiya! You must be Nicola. I'm Trisha, Vanessa's best friend. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <laughs> everybody! This is Nicola, my half-sister. Hello. Nicola, this is Ashley, my husband. <laughs> oh, right. I've heard all about you. Oh, all good, I hope. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, hi. It's Emily, isn't it? We met earlier. I'm glad you found it all right. And, uh, Nicola, this is my mum. Hey, love. Call me Diane. Hello. I've heard all about you, too. Aww. Don't you look alike? Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Nice when someone can come into a family and be made to feel so welcome. Uh, put us another one in there, love, when you're ready. No. We're all having champagne! Woo! Hey, hey go on, then, if you're twisting me arm. <laughs> what was you saying, love? Don't matter. I told you they were all nice, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. 